Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the media explorer in Reaper. We could also tempo match our media when we import it. Let's select this acoustic guitar sample. Let's hear it. Notice it's a perfect loop. But if we drag this in to our project and put it right in the bar, we can tell it's a bit too long. So it won't match the tempo of our song. But if we want to stretch it or constrain it before, we could do that right here. Let's undo it. Let's turn on tempo match. And now if we import the sample, it's perfectly two bars long. And we can see the rate has changed to adjust the tempo of this project. And we could also have it adjust to half speed or double speed. We'll leave it off if we don't need it to match the tempo on import. So there's many different ways of importing our media into our project. One way is to scroll down below our tracks, grab the media, and drop it right here. And that creates a new track with the media's name as the track name. Or we could just drag it right over here so we could place it where we want, but also below the other tracks. That also creates a new track with the same track name as our media item. Or we could put our cursor where we want within a current track like this, then select our item and right click and choose insert into project. And that puts the item right there. Or just drag it manually and place it where we want on a current track. And if that track didn't have a name, it's going to take on the name of that media item. But we could also simply double click and it places that item where our edit cursor was. Or we could go to the right click menu and insert a time selection or insert on new track or insert in sample player. Now, this one's a bit different. Let's choose a different sample. Let's go to our kicks and choose one we like. So if we right click this sample, we can choose insert into sample player and it's gonna insert the sample player on a new track like this. Here's that new track and I put a plugin on that track which is the Resamplematic 5000 with that sample already installed in the plugin. So if I go into record, my MIDI input is already set up. So if I play my MIDI keyboard, it's gonna trigger that sample. So it's a very quick way of setting up a sampler that could be triggered by MIDI. Or we could replace that sample the same way. Just select it like this one, Right click it, go to insert into sample player, and choose reuse active sample player. And that's going to replace the old sample with the new one. Like this. Ready to go and triggered by a MIDI input. Let's go back to the acoustic guitar. And we could also insert it into selected media items. So if we select this piano and then right click, we can insert it as a new take. And that creates a new take in this item based on the media we selected. So we could switch to different takes between the piano and the acoustic guitar. Or we could replace it 
as a media source, and that puts the acoustic guitar in place of the piano, which is very useful for placing samples in our project. Let me show you. Let's say we want to replace our snare throughout the whole track. We could double click it so all the items are selected, choose a different snare. Let's try this one. Then we can right click it, insert in selected media items, and choose replace media source. And that replaces the old sample with the new one very quickly for each instance in the project. So it's a great way of replacing or swapping out different sounds in our song. Just by inserting it as a different media source. We could also adjust the pitch and the rate before we import our media. Let's say we like this snare sound, but we want to raise the pitch and lower the rate. We can import it with those adjustments. Just drag it in. And now if we zoom in, we can see that the pitch and the rate were adjusted. And we could hear it in the result. Now, another great feature of the Media Explorer is we could just work on sections of a file and import just those. Let's go back to our acoustic guitar and let's hear it. And let's say we want to import just a portion of this file. We can select down here. To create the section we want to import, let's trim it from the beginning to about here. And let's hear that. And now we can just import that section of our media. Just drag it in from here. And it just brings in that selected area of our file. And we could hear it. And if we drag it out to loop it, it only loops that section we selected. So it's a great way of working or importing just sections of our media. So as you can see, the Media Explorer is a great way of importing our media into Reaper, offering many features well beyond simply dragging and dropping from our hard drive. So that's pretty much it. That's the Media Explorer in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.